Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Chucks. I've got to rescue a hard drive, which I've going to clone using this two port drive system, which you can get from a shop. And it's very handy. And switch on from the back, turn on. And normally I'd put two drives in. I've actually cloned it already, but I didn't do the video until later which is a bit of a problem. But all you do is you put the bad drive in one of the drives and an empty drive on the other drive so you can compress the data. Now these are just a terabyte drive. You might have a three terabyte drive. This will work for four terabytes or whatever you really got, I think, except for probably some of the, um, the small memory um, drives that they, the electronic drives are coming out now. I can't remember what the name of it, but yeah, they're around. So this opens up, I downloaded this straight from their site and they have got a Patreon. And when I get some money again, I'm gonna pop some money in their Patreon. I don't make much money off this channel at all. And it's gonna be less soon. So uh, I think it's 30% taxed. I'm lucky to make less than $100 from our channel. So keep the you know keep the um, messages coming I, d I don't ask for patreon I don't ask for anything I just ask for people to um, give give it a positive feedback and if they can't give a positive feedback well give me cons constructive ways of helping me get the, get the channel going which is ha handy um, anyway this will open up to this program here and now it's open this now so to do a backup, you just press on backup. This is how easy RescueZilla is, and it's well worth um, paying a couple of dollars for to the Patreon. So then you just pick whichever drive you've got, like in this case it would be this drive, and I can double click that to see what's on that drive, but at the moment there's only one partition. Uh, anyway, but if I was say to clone this drive, I didn't like that at all. So I'm not draw I'm not gonna do that one. So anyway, if you get stuck with it or you have a problem, you can shut the program down and start it up again. So you can shut that program down there up the top, and the program is actually down the bottom. This also comes with Gparted, so you can actually find use Gparted to find your drives. If you've never been used to Linux, there's not much you have to learn about. Uh, most of the stuff is super user anyway on this. So you don't have to know stuff. So up the top here on Gparted, you can pick which drive you want to use or see. So you can see that drive, it's sitting there. You can f format it. You can go right click and delete that drive and you can Resize it to your heart's complaint. You can format it to all the different types of drives that you want to do. I'm not doing that at the moment. Um, but that's a way of finding out what drives what. So in the C drive, that's this drive here. And that would have been the B drive there that I would have cloned. And then I would have opened that program down in the bottom corner. And then I would have backed it up. So let's try something small. We could even back up the original drive. So let's do that. And let's do that one, that will do. And then we can go next. And so we go okay. Okay, so now we've, we're up to connect directly to the computer, or you can actually do it over a network. So I can connect this through a network, but I'm doing it over a, a normal computer. So it would be, <laughs> pardon me, pardon me, just sneezed. So I'd do it to there and then I'd go next. 
it's a very basic system and then I'd go uh, yeah this is what I want to do you can rename the backup I'm not worried about that and although I might have to rename it and give it another name so it's called time lapse on this one so it's going to back that drive up Because it's such a small drive, it's going to do it very quickly. But as I said, I backed up, I've just backed up a Windows partition. The actual old drive was crashing. I think that's why I got the drive, I got the computer quite cheap um, from a recycle yard. And I think the people threw it out because they couldn't be bothered fixing the, the uh, hard drive on it. And nor did it have... Um, 5G for wireless so I replaced the wireless card in it and then I cleaned the whole internals and realized that I might have put too much air in the back of it and the touch screen seems to drag itself to the right but I'll work that out eventually but yeah that was my CNC machine I'm still working on the CNC I'm having a lot of teething problems with it it's uh, not playing the game um, well, that's what you get when you get a free one from uh, China that was already broken. So you're trying to fix something that was already broken. And uh, it wasn't free originally. I was actually going to pay for it full price, which I was happy to do. But it just seems to be broken in uh, a couple of different ways. I'm trying to use a unipolar motor instead of a bi bipolar motor which if you don't understand what that is it just means that a unipolar motor has three taps on the on the um, windings which I'll show later and not in this video but another video and bipolar's only got two but the resistance is around about the same the wattage is about the same and so we could use that motor anyway this will back that up and all you have to do after that is put another drive in take that drive out or leave that drive in and take the other drive out that it, you've cloned and then just do a restore and pick that uh, SB oh, what is it? SDB I think it was um, but it might be something different on your computer so you might have to look that up so you go next so everything's there, you can restore it back. And I haven't learnt that one yet, the Image Explorer, I haven't used it. And then you press the other one, and then it's pretty much going through the same thing. So anyway, it would recover it from either a network or your computer. So you can go, in this case, we're not gonna recover. But you could go, you could tell it where your server is, your optional name, your password, your domain name, and version. So you could set it up to a NAS server, I would say. That's awesome. So that's uh, RescueZilla. And now we'll have a quick look at installing it into my computer and just popping it together and seeing how it goes. Just to remind you, it might have to do a, when it goes into the Windows computer, it might have to do a uh, recovery because I put another wireless card in. Remember, you probably don't remember, I'm on the back end of this. So you'll have to go back and have a look where I upgraded this computer or this hard drive to Windows 10. Now, it had ended up having a fault on it and I've been working on my CNC machine and I've upgraded the motor and I've put a uni mo a unipolar motor in there instead of a bipolar so I have to change the wires around and if you want to see something on that leave me a comment below and I'll explain how it's all done but we're over here now after taking the drive out and and um, ghosting the drive as they call it or um, duplicating the drive 
I found that the Wi-Fi card was only a 2.4, so I replaced the card and hopefully that will upgrade everything. So I've got uh, 5 gig as well. I think that's why they threw this computer out in the first place. This computer is touchscreen, it's HP, it's a nice model. It's got a beautiful cooling system on it. I've just blown out the cooling system to get rid of all the dust, because you get a lot of dust here. And I've de-dusted everything else. Putting the hard drive in, there's one screw at the end, and you have to get it in the right spot. But I had that wire under there, which was not fitted originally. Uh, that's my dodgy five gig antenna sitting up there. Had to have it. And it has, I think, comes with four, eight gig of memory, not very much, but enough to run a CNC machine. What else is on here? I think this could be Bluetooth. Could be Bluetooth actually, because it's got a connection down the end for a cable, antenna cable. So that could be Bluetooth. Although, not 100% sure. But yeah, if anyone knows, please explain these to me. Be great. Um, and this had a TV set up why nowadays who knows and it's got a dvd drive why who knows uh, and we can fit cards into it as well so this will come in very handy now and i will strip this down and throw it away the only useful things in it are probably the um, probably the motor the gold plated board here is probably worth something and the platinum discs are worth something and the magnets are always handy to use on different uh, jobs that I'm doing around the shed. I've got to go and pick up a heap of batteries today which will be interesting because the guy that had it is an older gentleman and he is um, getting out of doing batteries which is fine um, and I am getting into doing batteries so it's fine too. Now, I'm not 100% sure where I pulled this from. Did I pull it from there? No, I don't know. Anyway, I've got to work out where that came from, or I'll throw it away, which is the other option. I think it comes from here. Actually, I think it does. It comes off here because that'll hold the plating on the back for the whole unit. So I've got four screws here. I'll do that up in a second. But that's about it this morning. So... If you want to uh, do anything or, or have a say, I am now testing most of my batteries with a small but useful temperature sensor. It's not that accurate, but it's accurate enough. And I pulled any battery that comes up above, I don't know, 40 degrees here. So yesterday it was around about 30 degrees here. It's meant to rain the next couple of days. It's raining up in Queensland and in New South Wales at the moment, in Australia. Anyway, that's it. If you want to have a chat or leave a comment, it'd be lovely to hear from you guys. Um, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. I'd like to thank everyone. You fit your power.